guys, Dandelion here. I wanted to show you this. Uh, Renee M. had put up a video about Joe, Joe Biden, I guess, on the day. I guess this happened on August 24th, of day of the market crash. And he, I guess they I had on the news that Mr. Biden will decide if he's going to run. And then something about him, he wanted to be the savior of the Democratic Party. Um, so... I, I, I put his numbers in here, and it's interesting because he has the GO numbers that I've talked about, which is the 196th day. Uh, July 15th is the 196th day, which is the anti-date of June 18th, which is a 618, which is the phi number, which is also the 816 backwards. So it's interesting that it's opposite of that. Um... And there's interesting associations down here, so I want to show this to you. And then here, this is an 8-7, and I'm, I'm seeing this number around a lot, and I haven't really figured out what that's about. But this is an 8-8. And I, I, so far I have been taking this as a, uh, at least not a negative number. So I'm not sure what it has to do with, with Joe here, but let me show you the, Ju the Jewish gematria that, is in common with his Jewish gematria. Not saying that he's possessed, but most of those people are controlled, you know. So that is at least, um, that's at least, or here's what I wanted to show you. Hillary D. Rodham. So he matches her in his Jewish gematria. It's, Jewish gematria, it's, it's not easy to match people in the Jewish gematria, and maybe the D makes all the difference here. So I wanted to show that to you because that's who he's running, that's who he's going to be a savior for because people don't want to vote for her. I think she scares people, and rightfully so. So the other associations I didn't really find that were so important, but I wanted to show you the English and the simple gematria associations with, so these are going to match Joe, but not Hillary, unless it says it over here. So th it's interesting that, that he matches these things. Israel, the Lima, and it kind of helps me reassess my number, my idea about the positive or negative nature of 64. You know, there are distortions in here, so you have to keep take everything with a grain of salt. Scion, zero. Um... What else? American. So we just, uh, Beatles. I don't think that's the correct spelling of Yahshua's name. Tiamat is the planet that was here before Earth that was cleaved in half and turned into Gaia. And it was taken uh, in the Anunnaki, ancient Anunnaki writings, according to the Zechariah Sitchin. He, they talk about it as being a, a water monster so that could just be their view about that but oh baphomet so it's hard to, it's going to be hard to you know keep these in our mind but if we just go down here and we will start to have an idea of what these numbers really mean so I just wanted to show you that about Joe Biden, and he's going to make his decision. This is, uh, whoops, this one. Going to make his decision by the end of summer. It, that's what it says in the text. And there's also it also says in the text um, something about like a savior, and I should probably gematria that statement too, but I, I, what I did is I gematria the, the statement the end of summer. So I was going to show you that, that is, there's an 8-6 in there, because we've been seeing some 8-6s having to do with the market crash. And um, I just, oh, I was looking, I know why I already saw an 8-6. I was looking at the front of the White House, and I noticed that there's eight windows on either far end of it and six big windows in the middle. So I was, that was an 8-6-8 eight, eight in terms of the numbers of the windows with um, four pillars in the front underneath the triangle. So that's another 8-6. Um, that I don't have an explanation for yet. Maybe, you know, they're going to 86 the White House. 
because they, you know, they have their House of Cards show now where they're implying that the White House is going to be taken down. So just want to show you this, the 996, because we were also talking about 96 in terms of Diana's funeral and how it could be the reduction of, of um, 816, which is the Georgia Guidestone number that I keep mentioning and we keep seeing in different places. And this would be a 76 besides the number that's here. So that would be the spirit of 76, which has to do with, um, I believe, astral travel having to do, I think the core, um, the core symbolism of that goes back to Gilgamesh. And it has to do with freedom and the ability to astral travel, having enough consciousness to be able to astral travel consciously. Um, so let's look at this real quick. Uh, Sandy Hook is here, the Holy Code. This is the Jewish Gematria aliens so when, when he talks about so when they're talking about the end of summer is when the decision will be made these you want to kind of look at these associations to see are they talking about these other things the jinn this some people think that the jinn are the gray aliens they're the fire angels you know I think it's just pretty hard to sort all this stuff out okay let's go down to Tabor. Let's go down to the English. Real oh yeah, that's why I'm glad I, I was like, do I want to come all the way down here? Yes, there are good things down here. So when he's talking about the end of summer, isn't it interesting that the end of summer has the same English and symbol Gematria as the Twin Towers and the Tetragrammaton? I what so I I really wonder if they are, if the elite are associating the Tetragrammaton with Venus. Because that's that that goes back to my earlier theories, which I haven't talked about a little bit, that there are good Pleiadians, fallen Pleiadians, and unfallen Pleiadians. That some, Plei some Pleiadians came and they fell. You know, there's a seven-star system at least, probably many planets. There could be all kinds of different people over there, so we can't, you know, paint them all with a broad brush. But there would be some Pleiadians who fell and some Pleiadians who didn't fall, and the and so some, it's possible that the that Yahweh could be a Pleiadian who either didn't fall or did fall because the name could have distortion since it's been handed down through the Vatican Church. Sometimes in the Bible it sounds like Yahweh is a sane person that you could actually trust, and sometimes he sounds insane. So I think that those probably are, they, they're just using the same name for different speakers. Because they seems like they kind of blurred everything together there in the Old Testament. But this is interesting to me that the Tetragrammaton might have something to do with Venus, which is the twin symbolism. Um, September 11 matches these numbers. William Clinton. I just want to point out that Will, because we saw Will today in the uh, shooting that just happened. One of the characters was named William. And this is a 23 9, and then the two L's is a 24, so that's a double date. It's like a Vesica Pisces date, just with a will. And the two L's also symbolize the two God, the two God aspects, which I, which goes back to um, the the dual nature or the or the polarity of character, possibly of the Pleiadians that some of them came here and made a mess and others of them are trying to clean it up and correct the situation and restore the planet to wh what it was before the mess was made so that we have a chance to um, spiritually evolve without being stuck in this trap with these with these crazies here. Okay, also the White House matches the end of summer, matches these other things. One world order matches all that. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that means. It probably means something important. The day of the Lord, I believe, is 928. I believe that's supposed to be the day of the Lord. Sudden rapture. People, um, Christians are expecting that on the 28th, if not before. There's another speaker, another spiritual teacher for kind of a new age 
um, future, and he says that he's expecting um, a sudden ascension on the 27th. Alien invaders. My feeling is that if we have negative alien invaders, that they are actually just our military. That's they're showing that you know all their hidden, you know, technology that they've been hiding from us, and they're trying to make the good aliens look bad. That's my theory. You don't have to agree. Probably Johann Sebastian Bach has some dates in his life that probably tie in here. Okay. So that was... I know it takes a little bit to look down here, but um, I think that it's important to be aware of these associations. I don't know who that is. So... That's my video about Joe Biden and the statement of him making a decision on 923, the end of summer, and his name associations with Hillary and, and everybody else, and the name associations with this statement of the end of summer. All right, I hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later.